Welcome back, my friends, to another unsolicited and unindicated football analysis with your friend David Valentin. As you can see, I'm not holding the camera. My beautiful wife is holding the camera this time. My kids are with me, 4th of July. We get to celebrate 246 years of independence of our republic, one that yours truly helped defend, and I'm very proud of that. And today, we are going to the stadium. Orlando City is gonna be facing DC United. As you have seen by the last video, Orlando City defeated Nashville in penalty kicks to move forward to the Open Cup. Later this month of July, we're gonna be seeing Red Bulls at Exploria. We're gonna find out if we are going to the final, which is gonna be played in Orlando if we win. Now, this United is having a bad time, really awful time. They're at the bottom of the table. So we expect three points. We have to, because although the uh, results on Wednesday and this week, this past weekend, have gone our favor. In our favor, uh, we definitely have to win in order to remain in contention uh, for um, for playoffs. So quickly, uh, rare Monday game. Traditionally, Orlando City has lost the Fourth of July game. Uh, hopefully, we are about to uh, break with that awful tradition, and uh, more so. We are also, uh, it's, a, it's a Monday. I mean, it's a rare day. Usually, you know, I'm, uh, this time of the day, I'll be coming home from a day of work. We're heading to the stadium instead, so it uh, makes a difference. Gonna be, we're gonna be sitting in the West uh, Club. Um, thank you to the club for the tickets. And um, it's gonna be a different atmosphere. We're gonna go through uh, uh, Gate D. So uh, you, gotta, you guys gotta come along and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, three points. Since you already know the, because you are already seeing this in the future, you already know the result. So uh, we don't. Well, let's find out what the night has in store for us. I'll take him. 
We have come back. We have come back from 2 0 many times before. It'll be nice to do it tonight.
God. Please. It's a miracle.
my friends so this is the end of the video unfortunately Orlando City falls uh, five to three a valiant effort from Orlando City to come back after conceding two goals under seven minutes uh, we felt that we had the tie it just never happened um, one of the things I found out after the game was that um, DC United had not played a game since June 25th and in that time frame where the city had played two games obviously uh Cincinnati against Cincinnati and the Open Cup um 120 minutes on Wednesday 
uh, now on Monday, uh, DC United comes super rested. Is that an excuse? I, I really don't know. Uh, a lot of people feel that um, for professional players, uh, this should have been uh, should have been nothing. I never played professional football, professional anything uh, related to sports, so I don't know. Um, all I know is that uh, if Miami wins tonight, which at the moment of this recording they're losing one nil against Dallas, if they if they if they win tonight. Uh, and they defeat us Saturday, they get to bump us from the playoffs position. Uh, in the event that uh, they lose tonight, uh, then we have a breathing room to remain above the red line. Uh, July is going to be critical for us. Um, a lot of people are calling for Pareja's head. Uh, some rumors are saying that the club really is uh, looking at results. Um, the game against uh, Red Bulls is gonna be it's gonna be a war uh, for for Pareja's job uh, for uh, some players uh, to remain with the club um, because right now it's the only credible opportunity for Orlando City to to win something to get something out of the season. Uh, to be quite honest, seeing how poor Kansas City is, uh, fact. The Sacramento is a USL championship team. And uh, it, I think that the final is won against Red Bulls at home. That's, to me, the critical game. If, if we defeat Red Bulls, there's a really, really high possibility of walking away with a trophy. That will be great. Great consolation prize for this fan base. Great consolation prize for, uh, for the club. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that we may... Be looking at a team that is uh, barely gonna make playoffs, and it's probably gonna get bounced out of the playoffs uh, first time. And I think that as a Orlando City fan, after twenty-two million dollars being invested on the club, uh, I, I just don't see how that is improving. If all we are doing is uh, going through the motions, get to the playoffs, and get nothing done, uh, at that point, I think uh, it's fair to evaluate. Oscar Pai has tenure, and if if the Wolves feel that he's not the manager to take us to the next level, or the players that we have are not the players to take us to the next level, then we need to do that. I think people's patience is running thin. Uh, other teams can have bad seasons, like Atlanta United that is having a disastrous season right now, but they have an open cup. They have a endless championship to fall back on, and, uh, and that's the beauty of recent championships, you know. Uh, they buy you time. If you're the manager, they buy you time if you're the organization. And uh, fans remember that, and that's just their burns. Uh, we have nothing since we have come to MLS in 2015. So the last time this club actually lifted anything worthy of, of, of mentioning is the regular season champion in USL in 2014. Last time this team crowned itself champion of any league was in 2013 in the USL Championship. So with that said, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, join me this Saturday, for sure. Um, again, I said that at the end of the month of July is a month that is going to define uh, who's going to be in the playoffs. And I hope that the boys can be on top. If we lose against Red Bulls and we find ourselves below the red line, then, then August is going to be... Uh, it's it's going to be a makeup month where we are going to be fighting to make something out of the season. And if we don't make playoffs, I'm afraid that that will be the end of Oscar Pareja uh, as manager for Orlando City. Um, because, again, they are giving you the tools, they're giving you the players. Uh, and I, even though I like him as a person, I think he's a fantastic individual, this, this is a game of results. And we have seen uh, clubs bring a manager out of nowhere and that manager taking them to the promised land and uh, unfortunately that hasn't happened for us so with that said thank you very much for watching the the, the video remember to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to consume my content about orlando city and also uh monday nights 8 30 p.m uh i'm sorry uh eight o'clock no 8 30 <laughs> sorry 8 30 p.m it's too late
8.30 p.m. Uh, live on YouTube, Lado Prado Orlando with my friend Luis Pineda and my friend Paola Medina. Uh, we're going to be doing the, doing the show. Uh, obviously, the game tonight was on Monday, so we didn't record. We'll be recording tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, so join us, like I said, Lado Prado Orlando on YouTube. Uh, you can listen to us on your favorite podcast application. But the show is very visual with graphics and things. So personally, YouTube is a place to watch us. Uh, if you can watch us live and interact with us and ask us questions and things like that, you can definitely go and um, uh, you know watch it later on in in, in that and that, that stuff. Um, if anything positive about the night, I spent time with my kids, with my wife. I think it was it was a great night of us, a family uh, celebrating the Fourth of July. Uh, unfortunately, once again, as the tradition has dictated. Orlando City loses the 4th of July game. So with that said, may God bless you and vamos Orlando.